It's been a long week. I'm ready to just play video games. We have received a request for aid from the Alliance. They are being invaded by the Empire. We have only just taken back Ferdiad, and yet I am already asking all of you to move out once more. Please accept my apologies for that. That's no problem at all. More importantly, how is the Alliance faring? House Regan has rallied the Alliance Lords. They are facing the enemy with all the strength they can muster. But we do not know how far that will get them. It seems the enemy's relentless attacks have forced them into a tough situation. Their defeat at Grandeur severely weakened the Alliance. I imagine the Empire now intends to destroy them before they can recover. To think they'd watch us chase their soldiers out of the Kingdom capital, then immediately go invade the Alliance. Their general is Lord Volkard von Arendel. He serves as regent to the Emperor. Uh -oh. He has presumably taken command after the Emperor was wounded in Grandeur. He is known for his shrewdness and excels not only in domestic affairs, but tactics as well. He is not an opponent we should take lightly. Lord Arendel. I always suspected that Lord Arendel was behind the tragedy nine years ago. The timing of his departure from the kingdom, the fact that he abruptly stopped making donations. Too many factors made him suspect. If Lord Arendel conspired with Cornelia, and what Kronja and the others said five years ago. Mm. Well, never mind that for now. The Alliance needs our help. What are your thoughts? If we turn our back on the Alliance and then dare Drew Falls, it will undoubtedly make our situation difficult further down the road. We would have enemies in two directions. In the Alliance to the northeast and in the Empire to the south. That is true. In that scenario, we would not be able to safely march our soldiers to Envar. I am terribly worried about Lady Rhea, but I believe we must save the Alliance first. Oh, maybe if we do this, the Alliance will help us out in return. We could ask them to help us attack the Empire. You know, a sneak attack or something. Annie, when did you become so devious? <laughs> what would your mother think? What? <laughs> it wasn't that devious. What do you think, Professor? Let's go to Deirdre. Yes, I agree. I will admit that there is something to be gained for us as well. For when we eventually march south, but far more importantly, they need us. We cannot turn our backs on them. We will arrange to head out at once. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Much. Don't feel like hosting a tea party right now. Hmm. I need to buy some stuff. They still don't have any more Master's Eels. I'm gonna stroke out and die. Anyway, the very same night we liberated the capital, a messenger arrived from Deirdre. Claude must have predicted that we'd retake it. Claude's a hard person to read. It's obvious not much escapes his eye, though. Kind of unsettling, honestly. Let's see. Oh. So war finally comes to the Alliance territories. I don't mean that there's never been fighting on Alliance soil, of course. There have been countless skirmishes between neighboring lords, as well as conflicts with Almira. But this is an invasion by an army of the Empire. It's a whole different animal. I don't want to see my family get dragged into this. 
I hope we can drive back the Empire. Claude. Claude. Which one was he again? Oh, right. Yeah, of course I remember him. It's just... I can't picture his face. Don't remember what he looks like. I'm not sure if I ever knew. Maybe. Plant some flowers. you can see the sea from Deirdre. Not just sea, that it is right there in front of you. In Bridget, the sea has great closeness. I would be looking at it every day. But in Garrick Mach, we cannot look at the sea. So I am feeling drawn to Deirdre. Yes, I think the sea has much beauty, but can also be frightening. Hmm. always was sharp among his peers. Never let himself get caught up in conventions. Oh, he wasn't typical in Fodlan. I'd like to save him if we can. <laughs> you may be right. A hungry hero is no better than a well-fed soldier. Do you know that saying? No? That's because I just made it up. If you're hungry, you're never going to be at full strength. Keep your belly full and stay strong. Hmm. Drew, huh? I've always wanted to go there. In Fargus, most of the towns are pretty much glorified fortresses. So to hear about a place called the Aquatic Capital, it just sounds so elegant. When the war's over, I hope I can visit with everyone there. I went to visit my adoptive father at his home in the capital. He used to grovel at Cornelia's feet when the city was under her control. But after it was liberated, he started courting the kingdom instead. Absolutely. He's hopeless. I suppose when you're a merchant, that's all you know. No matter what becomes of the world, it'll always be plagued by people like him. Dang, Mercedes, that's... a character. I suppose it's in character, but... A hey, gatekeeper. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Dare Drew is known as the aquatic capital. It's a beautiful town with streets that seem to float on the water and an impressive harbor. In times of peace, it would be a wonderful place for a holiday. Anyway, best of luck in the next battle. Thanks. What? Hello there. Return soon, please. Welcome. Is that the one? Thank I need a whole one? bunch of these. Thank is that the one? Thank is that the one? Thank is that the one? Is that the one? Thank is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Come back soon. Hello. Tell your friends. We can't actually join you on the battlefield, but rest assured that we're there in spirit. We're doing everything we can to support the army. So give it your all out there. Hey there. Is this it? There you go. Is this it? There you go. Is this it? There you go. I gotta repair all these. Is this it? There you go. Is this it? There you go. 
Is this it? There you go. Is this that it? last battle was... Go. Oh boy. Is this... There you go. Is this... There you go. Is this... There you go. Anytime. That should do it. Professor? Oh, I didn't even think of us. Praying, Father? Yes. Praying is all I can do. For I am at fault for each death upon the cursed plain of Duska. You keep saying it's your fault, Father, but you're wrong. His Highness doesn't blame you. Neither does King Lambert. I'm sure of it. But I guess that's not the issue for you, is it? It was my duty to protect the royal family. I should have given my life to protect the king, even if his highness has forgiven me. My knightly vows are still broken. My knighthood is lost. That's obvious from looking at you, father. I think mother understood it as well. But before fleeing the country, I wish you had thought about your family. If only for a moment, even if the whole world had condemned you. We would always have been your allies. I am sorry, Annette. No, I told you before. I don't particularly want you to apologize. Annette. Yes, father? Take this. A bundle of letters? There are so many. Look inside and you will understand. Should the contents make you sad, please burn them. Father! For the love of... He's done it again! But what have we here? Just as I thought. Letters for me and mother. So many. But why? And how? <sighs> I suppose I'll have to read them if I hope to find my answers. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna check the stables. Take a little while yet for the capital to be restored to its former glory, but it's not dead yet. Doesn't matter how many times you put the people of Ferdiad down, they'll get right back up again. Just you watch. Before long, things will be back to how they were. I believe it. No. Dimitri and Claude don't have to fight one another. I am the daughter of an Alliance Lord, though. So I suppose that goes without saying. Having to fight with your former classmates is just so terribly sad.
Catherine's probably the only one I have. Ah, uh, Felix is up there too. Let's try Felix. I might not be able to win this tournament for once. That sucks. Oh. If you travel east from the Alliance and cross Fodland's throat, you enter the land of Almyra. House Goneril's territory touches the eastern border of the Alliance. They also have Lord Holst, the most valiant warrior in the Alliance, tasked with keeping watch over the Almyran's movements. He rarely leaves Goneril territory. Hello there. The Alliance leader is too demanding and the prince is too soft-hearted. Don't you think? They spilled much of each other's blood at Grandeur. I lost a lot of friends to the Alliance. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. I know this is tactically sound. Everyone seems on board with it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any misgivings. Over 20 years ago, there was an illness raging across Ferdiad, while people were dying left and right. It was Cornelia who saved the kingdom from that dreadful illness. No, I hear she was originally an Imperial scholar. She was in the kingdom by my father's invitation. People praised Cornelia as a saint for ending the epidemic, but there came a day when she completely changed. Her behavior, mannerisms, likes, dislikes, Everything, despite all that, Father still appointed her to a high post. After all, she had saved the kingdom from ruin by that disease. But above all, my stepmother trusted her. That's why what that woman said is... <sighs> Never mind. Lord Rodrigue Fraldarius has passed on. Margrave Gautier has assumed his position and is now gathering the lords of the Eastern Territories. House Gautier is equal in prestige to House Fraldarius. Sylvain is a Gautier. These lords are reorganizing the Fargus army and eradicating any remaining factions that claim allegiance to the Empire. Of course, His Highness is being kept apprised with regular reports, but it falls to me to monitor him and ensure he does not try to take on too much. I would ask you to do the same. If you take your eyes off that man, even for a moment, he is liable to do something rash. <laughs> The aquatic capital. I've heard it's a magnificent city, you know? If we're going, I wish it wasn't to wage war. It'd be more fun to visit with a cute girl on my arm. You're right. That's something to look forward to. 
Professor? Hmm. <laughs> getting excited for our big empire showdown. I spent so much time mentally preparing. Then we shifted focus to Deirdre. I hadn't been expecting that, but as a knight who's sworn to serve the goddess, I cannot turn a blind ear to those who seek my aid. We're still searching for Lady Rhea. No news on that, I'm afraid. Lord Arendel, the Emperor's uncle, is the regent of the empire. If we crush them at Deirdre, Maybe we'll capture him and wring some clues out of him. Maybe. You know... Well, please? So, listen. I heard that Deirdre is under attack. I hope Judith is alright. She may be the hero of Daphnil, but... Facing the might of the Empire? I wish there was something more I could do. But I can only pray and hope. <laughs> Sorry. Dimitri is going to Claude's aid. How great is that? It's like we've gone back to how things were five years ago. <sighs> it's so nice. Just imagine if Aidy was there too. I suppose you can't ever really go back to the way things were in the past. What do you think? What do you think? Remember the death knight who stabbed me five years ago? Of course you do. How could you forget? Well, it turns out he's a general in the Imperial Army, claiming victories on dozens of battlefields. But it looks like he's not at Deirdre. Like every man in my life, he's run away from me. And he better run. One day I'm gonna find that guy and pay him back for what he did to me. With the capital recaptured, I desire to call him Your Majesty, rather than Your Highness. He would refuse my desire, rightfully put. However, the day that then he will truly be our king. I must go hear the reports from our spies. I shall tell you more. I have a request. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thought there was a chance that Cornelia had captured Lady Rhea, but it seems that is not the case. Our next foe, Lord Arundel, was once a pious adherent to the Saros Creed. His contributions to the church stopped quite abruptly some time ago. I think it is likely the man knows something. You plan to aid Claude, do you not? Huh. I think that is absolutely marvelous. Being opposing forces at the Battle of Grondor was ill-fated. It hurt to side against him. I am happy that things have taken a brighter turn now. 
Let me out. Thank you. Cornelia Arnhem. That's a familiar name, yes. She once studied in the Empire. My understanding is, shortly after I left the Empire, she did as well. Unlike myself, Cornelia traveled to the kingdom. Apparently, she halted a plague and was rewarded with a quite powerful appointment that such an outstanding researcher should fall to such depravity. Sickening, Professor, and quite sad. Uh, even if we do enter Alliance territory, we're not gonna find Lady Rhea there. I wish we could leave Claude B and go attack the Empire. I suppose if we can't beat the Empire forces here, then we can't get into the Empire lands, can we? I guess that just means it's hard work time, huh, Professor? Correct. Dimitri has become downright charitable, but I believe he is operating under a serious misapprehension. It may appear as if Claude is appealing to Dimitri for aid, but that is not what is happening here. Yes, a fine example of how snap decisions based on mere appearances can lead to gross misunderstanding. Claude has asked for reinforcements from here because he knows that I am here. Simply put, he is not throwing himself on Dimitri's mercy, <laughs> he is throwing himself on mine. I suppose there is nothing else for it, is there? We cannot turn our backs on those in need. Let us grant him the aid he requires. <laughs> There. Using the Great Bridge of Murden as a base, we'll spread out and cover as much ground as possible in our search for her grace. Judging by the information we've gathered, the most suspicious look the Hrim territory, whose leader is a mere puppet, and the Iyer territory, whose leader was deposed and disappeared. The Empire has a lot of places with suspicious happenings. It's certainly worth investigating, but it won't do to take too much time in relieving the Alliance army. Please, hurry. So House Regan has regained its influence in the Alliance, and is gathering forces. Claude always was somewhat inscrutable. It's strange somehow to hear talk of his brilliance as the leader of the Alliance. The pro-imperialist lords who have let the Empire in have their hands tied. Houses Ardelia and Gloucester are exposed and likely caught off guard. That must mean that Claude's allies are... Without a doubt, she is providing reinforcements. She has always supported Claude. Whatever the situation, Claude's military strength is lacking. And what's more, they suffered casualties at Grander Field. I don't know how long the Alliance forces will be able to hold out against the Empire. We've got to move quickly, or we may be too late. All right. Empire, to everyone certainly is busy. Perhaps it's not a bad thing. Peace will be lovely. Peace will, one assumes, be considerably less perilous. Hmm. gave me some of my father's belongings weapons books but there was something else that my old man really wanted to pass down he wanted me to inherit his mission ensuring that Dimitri ascends the throne or so I believe
<laughs> I like this. I think it's wonderful to be. By the way, how delicious are the monastery meals, right? We sure don't eat like this. I agree. If we could only grow more food. I have some experience with them. Let me consider how the meal tastes. Of oh. That reminds me. Never did you choir. You still have scars on your back. It does you no good to languish in pain. I will procure some medicine. No, it is fine. Well, they are still deep. These are from nine years ago. They do not hurt any longer. And besides, it would be a shame if the scars I got from protecting you were to fade. I bear these scars proudly. It makes me think that it was worthwhile that someone like me survived. To hear you say such things. To do you say that I saved you. But do you know that you also saved me that day? If I had been unable to save anyone, I would have been the sole survivor. I would have had no reason to keep living. But I saved someone. Saved you. That and that alone has always been my crutch. When I stood before those soldiers and their swords that day, I was prepared to die. But then, you suddenly appeared. And you shielded me. I knew then that a savior's hand could reach into even the deepest darkness. I still have not been able to repay that debt. Have you not heard a word I've said? You have saved me in countless ways. Five years ago, I did nothing but await my execution within my jail cell. Was it not you that saved me? That was nothing more than my duty as your vassal. Listen, to do. Perhaps you consider me to be someone special, but I think the same of you. You are irreplaceable, cherished. So stop saying that we cannot be friends. Stop saying such awful things. Please, do not look at me that way. You promised me you would build a kingdom that is proud to boast of Dusker blood. In this kingdom, where there is no distinction between the people of Dusker and the people of Fodlin, will I finally, without reservation, be able to call you my friend? Will I, Dimitri? To do. Yes, you will call me your friend again and again, no matter how many hardships I must endure. I will do all I can to bring about that world as well. To be your friend is what I have always wanted. Is that so? I... I am glad to hear it. But until that time, we must allow no harm to befall you. So please call upon me 
you when you walk alone at night, and even when you go out in the day. Please tell me where you are going, and whom you are meeting. In the end, I suppose there is no fixing your overprotectiveness, is there? I suppose I can live with that. Huh. <laughs> Dudu? Are you okay? You look unwell. Ingrid, is my face frightening? Uh, what? I mean, um, so, <laughs> sort of? Or, not exactly. I wouldn't use the word frightening. Aggressive, maybe? But it's really nothing to worry about. Why? Did someone say something cruel? I made a village child cry. Oh, I see. Let me guess. You feel like you look frightening. So you walked around with a smile glued to your face. How did you know? I'm starting to understand how you think. The thing is, forced smiles never work well. They usually just end up making a person look creepy and insincere. I see. Duly noted. To be honest, when we first met, I was pretty intimidated by you. Not because of a smile, but a lack of any emotion whatsoever. And you so rarely spoke. I had no idea what to make of you. But that's only because I wasn't making an effort to get to know you, because you were from Dusker. As I started to get to know you, to understand your personality, I realized what a fool I'd been. Personality? You may come off intimidating, but underneath that cool exterior is a kind, loyal, and noble person. A really wonderful person. In a certain regard, you are one of the knightliest people I know. What is it? Wonderful person. This is the first time anyone has ever said a thing like that to me. It is rather... awkward. It's only awkward if you make it awkward. Which it kind of is, now. Uh. <laughs> well, let me know if you need anything. Yes, of course. The same to you, Dudu. Uh. <laughs> Lysithia, I have to say, you're really impressive. I respect you a lot, and I thought I should tell you. Uh, okay. It's just, you know, you're four years younger than me, but you work really hard at everything. I mean, when I was your age, I wasted all my time just goobing off and doing whatever I wanted. Doesn't look like much has changed for you since then. And unlike you, I don't have time to waste, so leave me be. Are you going to do some extra magic training? I'd be happy to join you, if you don't mind. What do you want to start with? I am absolutely disinterested in spending any time with you. Ouch. What is it you want anyway? Clearly, you haven't been listening to a word I've been saying. Perhaps it's because I'm younger. You see fit to ignore me when I speak. Is that it? What? No. He has nothing to do with it. You're amazing. You're true to yourself. You know what you want and who you are. Not a lot of girls I know can say that. Ah. So it isn't my age that's to blame for you breezing over my wishes. It's my gender. I... what? Where did you get that idea? I'm just trying to praise your smarts and hard work and everything. It's impressive how someone so young... Your lack of self-awareness is deeply troubling. What I'm aware of is you trying to pick a fight. Calm down, kiddo. Look, I'm really busy. Super, extremely, inordinately busy. I've got one last thing to say to you. And what would that be? I'm skilled with magic, and my abilities are finely honed. It's not like I need someone for target practice. No, but I do. <laughs> hi, hi, Lysithia! When are you gonna teach me magic? Is now good? Why do I have to? Why? Because you're way better at it than me, silly. Is that so? I thought you were something of an honor student at the School of Sorcery. Well, sure, but I wouldn't say I've got any kind of natural talent for it. I'm gonna have to try very hard to become as good of a mage as you are. What is that supposed to mean? Are you implying that I don't work hard too? If you think my skills are inherent, you are sorely mistaken. No, I wasn't saying that at all. Everyone knows how hard you work. I just meant that if I want to be as good as you, I'll have to work really incredibly hard. Hmm. And what is it you want to learn about? Oh, so you'll teach me? Thank you so much! Um, actually... Oh, I get it now. 
I never thought about it that way before. Look at how quickly you're picking this up. You're clearly very skilled already. Don't be silly. You're just that good of a teacher. Your way of looking at the world is so fundamentally different from mine. Do you insist on taking the conversation in that direction? Oh no, I'm sorry. I wasn't doing that. There I go, saying the wrong thing again. It's fine. Let's just drop it. A bit more self-confidence would go a long way for you, Annette. Huh? That's all I've got for you today. I need to get going now. Lots to do. Oh, I'm so sorry to take up your time. Thanks again for teaching me. Hmm. Wait. Welcome. Come back soon. Where is it? What? Um. Is that the one? Thanks. Is that the one? Thanks a butt. Is I don't trust it. Thanks give me butt. some. Give me some more. Come back soon. coaching thanks I'm a bit embarrassed oh, nice this will be this will be useful all due to your coaching I got it. Quite intriguing. Thank you. Quite intriguing. Challenging. Looks like I did it. Huh, no big deal. I appreciate. I appreciate. That was challenging.
Everyone looks okay to me. This should do it. A question. As good a reason as any. Professor. to be with Aloise? Yes! I feel so much better. If you need help leaving... What? Did I do all right? Yes. We I'm a quick study. I am getting to the heart of it. I'll try to put this to use. It seems my proficiency has improved. Very well, then. I'm getting it. Ooh, rare battle. With a shot. Nice. I pack. Thank you. 
Dang it. I failed. My room. At last I feel as free as a bird that's flown. Bernadetta, do you have a moment? <laughs> I wasn't looking at their hats, I swear! And if I was, I wouldn't say a word about them. Not even if you tortured me. Mercy, please! I can keep a secret honest! Well, hold on! It's me, Eloise. Calm down. Huh? Oh, Eloise. I was sure you... Um, never mind. <laughs> I can't help but wonder about these hats you were looking at. But I'll set that aside for now. I wanted to apologize for being insensitive. I can't believe I trampled on your emotions like that. Huh? Was there something you did? I don't remember anything. About your dear uncle. It never crossed my mind that he might have passed away. Oh, that. Don't worry about it. But it clearly upset you. I can't even express how guilty I feel about opening an old wound like that. I'm so sorry. Hey, it's okay. You're reminding me of him even now, and it's completely fine. I'm glad we talked about it. Is that so? Hmm. Well then, why did you look so sad when I mentioned him? The truth is, I realized I hadn't visited my uncle's grave in a long time. With me not showing up for so long, I imagined him being worried about me. I see. He must have been quite dear to you. Hey, that gives me a great idea. Why don't we go see my uncle together sometime? You want me to visit? Sure you do. You're connected by me. Well, I didn't think of that. All right then, I accept. If you don't mind my tagging along, I'll gladly accompany you. Great. Thanks, Uncle. Uh, thanks, Eloise. <laughs> <laughs>
Route the enemy. I'd be honored. I'll cut through. Hmm, these guys are strong. I am prepared. Leave it to me. Quite helpful. They say it and axe. my strategy I'm your girl hmm Oh, they are. Hate me if you must. It is done. Nice. Stronger, faster, never enough. All is going to plan. Hmm, I don't want to play this. I could probably just... Oh, 
I missed. Of course I missed. Wonder if I can roll a crit here. Nope. Hate me if you must. It won't be in vain. Perfect. Step forward. Yeah! 
Nice. Destroy you now. Perfect. You must. Only this. Nice, that's a ton of gold. Just a problem I must now clean up. Do you know of Arian Road? It is a fortress that also goes by the name of the Silver Maiden. Is that so? Arian Road is a fortress that as the strongest in the kingdom. The land around Arian Road was once entrusted to Count Ro. When he turned to the Empire, the Silver Maiden went with him. Now, one after another, the lords of each region are leaving the Empire at the call of the Eastern Lords. But I am sure the Empire has no plans to relinquish the fortress city, given its strategic position on the front lines of their war with the Kingdom. Unless we can take back Arian Road, the Kingdom will continually be attacked at its weakest points. I was thinking that we need to deal with it soon, and that we need to investigate the status of the enemy's force, but... I am afraid so. We confirm the troops departed the Imperial Capital. Headed for Arian Road. If they are followed by a second and third batch of reinforcements, then the difficulty of taking back Arian Road will increase exponentially. But that does not mean we are entirely without recourse. I am just at a loss as to when the soldiers will arrive. Right away. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Your answers always bring me joy. Okay, let's gather everyone immediately. We'll begin the war council for the departing troops. I feel like this is going to be a really hard map. Traps everywhere. Oh, 
Got some high level spells. Flyers would be good here, but there's bow knights around. Hey, it's Hubert. There's a chest over here. Just in time. Any later, and Arian Road may have been lost. The Majesty was right to send me here. Hubert. So, you have come here in command of extra troops from the Imperial capital. I had hoped to take the fort while it was poorly defended. But now, well, there is nothing to be done. We must defeat him, and then take Arian Road. Traps have been set throughout Aryan Road to repel invaders who make it inside. If I remember correctly, there should be devices somewhere that let you deactivate the traps. However, Aryan Road has been in Imperial hands for a while now. They may have changed how things work, but there's no point in dawdling. Let's just make a point to disable any devices we come across. I'd be honored. I missed. What's my strategy? Leave it to me. I'll cut through. I am prepared. I'm your girl. Thank you. Yikes. Had to be done. At your service. Don't expect forgiveness. What's the plan?
<laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Take me if you must. Ready when you are. Surprise reinforcements. We must defeat them. Oh. Leave it to me. Let's make this quick. Ready when you are. Wow. If only I'd live. <laughs> I'm I am doing awful. Let's make this quick. I hate this archer. Glenn. Oh my god. Ready when you are. Thank God for I guess.
Just go back to the start. It seems we are traps. What's my strategy? Let's make this quick. I'll cut through. Leave it to me. Ready when you are. Let's try this again. It all comes down to this. This is my punishment. plan. Leave it to me. On to the next battle.
Ready when you are. I shall not stray. How... The city's defenses are under my control. So, the system has been modified. I'd be honored. I'm your girl. my strategy. Big help. You knew the odds. Hmm. I am prepared. Time for mercy. Here is something to believe in. I must lead them well. No. Come on. Oh, thank God. Oh no! I look so Where's my my strategy.
I'd be honored. It had to be done. Mother, what's the plan? Me. I am prepared. Ineffective. I'll cut a path for his highness. At your service. I had to protect my friends. Reassuring. Ready when you are. I'll end this quickly. You took me lightly. No time for mercy. My A striking display. Hmm. Thanks for that. Leave it to me. Don't bother haunting me. It's 
done. On to the next battle. was the only way. I could go. For now? That should take care of the traps. I can move across so fast. Let's be prudent. <coughs> What's my strategy? I'm your girl. You must. Ready when you are. Leave it to me. done.
I suppose who thought defeating the troops outside the castle first would demoral not such a bad idea. Uh oh. God. Stop here. Had to be done.
Arian Road is a crucial asset to the Empire. Oh. Let's finish this. You knew the odds. I'll cut through. What's my strategy? I'm your girl. Please don't. I don't expect forgiveness. Let your guard down. Hmm. Onward. Here's an idea. my strategy. I'm your girl. I'll cut through. Uh, 
I was just stronger. Ready when you are. Leave it to me. <laughs> On to the next battle. I'd be honored. Aryan Road is a crucial... Where it wasn't in vain. Proceed carefully.
my duty. I need to slow down. Oh, crap. to the next battle. Please, miss. Oh, thank God. I will end this now. I've got you. It was the only way. I've made it my own. Oh, my bow. Dang it. I will not die. Let's make this quick. Stop here. Don't bother haunting me. A single crack. Wow. The better to serve his highness. Child's play. 
that's the plan. All for our future. grasp this topic. Hubert was defeated? Hmm. Retreat! Sound the retreat! The Empire troops are withdrawing. This is it. We failed to get Hubert, but at least we have recaptured Arya. Let's clean up the wreckage and return to Garrick Mach. Well done, everyone. The day is ours! Nice. I think all of this work is just catching up with me. Just pretend that yawn never happened. By the way, I wanted to thank you for your help with the Aryan Road campaign the other day. You were exceptional. Your leadership was key in taking back Aryan Road safely. Indeed, everyone gave their all for victory. I am always being saved by those around me, it seems. It seems that after taking back Aryan Road, many things are changing within the kingdom. Specifically, the lesser lords of the lands surrounding Aryan Road have pledged vassalage to the kingdom. The knights they possess may now be added to the kingdom's army. And if that happens, I would like to leave them in your capable hands. Also, uh, <laughs> my apologies. Here I am, simply throwing one report after another at you. Uh, perhaps. It is certainly true that I have been stuck in my quarters lately, dealing with more official business and other such tasks than ever before. But that is something I have been putting off for far too long. Though it is exhausting, filling in the blanks of five years and several months must be done. I am going to tackle them all, one at a time. That is one small part of my atonement. So, Professor, I have been doing all of the talking, but I assume you came here for a reason. Steal me away? That seems rather unnecessary. Hmm. A victory celebration, you say? You know, this reminds me of that time I dragged you to the dining hall. Do you recall? If memory serves, that was after the mock battle between the houses. It was a wonderful time. We had just finished our mission, and we were invited to join in the celebration. You know, every once in a while, I do long to be part of the group as well. But do you think that it is really acceptable for someone like me to quietly join in the merriment? You really think so? Well, if you insist, thank you, Professor. Now then, let's go. Together.
I'm gonna save here and stop. Oof. I got a lot of battles to fight still.